Honest J. Nowak. Coming at you live. All right. A pleasure to me all at last. Welcome back to HJN Season 2. And here we go with part 4 of 10 that we got for today's marathoning session. So let's get on going with number 933, which specifically we'll be talking about gluten free products. Because this does bring up a pretty nice big story from my own past of a time where I had to go straight on over to an ICU to get tested for allergic reactions. It turns out though, after a couple of nights spending over on a hospital bed with television in front and not very much to eat, it turns out that they were able to figure out that I did in fact have a lot of allergic reactions from various things that I've eaten. Products out there that had gluten, wheat, whey, and other such listed ingredients were things that my body could not tolerate at that time. Nowadays, I could go on eating that kind of stuff all the time and not have many problems. But back then, I was still under a lot of development, mostly at a psychological level. With me at the young age of only 9, 10, and 11 years old, throughout the late 2000s and early 2010s, there's been a lot of stuff that had happened. But gluten-free products were one of a few different things that I would in fact have to stick to on the course of my daily diet. And the same thing would go with eliminating all sorts of things out there that did not have wheat, whey, sometimes dairy, would also cause problems in my digestive system. So of course, it was pretty much just set at that point. A baseline had to be established to ensure that I would not have to suffer from any sort of agonizing pain or whatnot, like I usually had back in the day. So, of course, gluten-free products, which included things like various pizza crusts and several other unique different things out there. There were a lot of things that had to be put out as gluten-free, just so they wouldn't cause as much problems in kids nowadays. But nowadays, being that it's been nearly 15 years since that happened in my life, I could say for sure that I've been a proud owner of a lot of different gluten-free snacks. It's safe to say that gluten might be eliminated at all costs from food in general. Just like how trans fat is practically non-existent nowadays because of how extreme health regulations are always going to prevent us from eating that kind of stuff ever again. And let's not forget, the fast food industry has caught on to this, McDonald's, Burger King, and the like. They may not have as good caloric intake as many others would, but still, these places, they're as conscious and as self-aware as many other people are nowadays. So it's great to be living in a time like this where we can actually thrive way better without having to worry about extreme health consequences. From heart attacks and strokes, to diabetes and cancer, and to millions of other unique diseases. The things that we eat surely do define us. And that's pretty much where I'm at here. So if you want to see more, go down to my channel. Make sure that you like, subscribe, comment, follow me on social media, and stay on the Hollywood side.